reported is that we managed to go by 25 percent. Also, if you think about Q2 this year, uh, and that's something sort of significant for us because also, as you were mentioning, we are a platform that also grow from a hotel industry, and uh, and that's super exciting for us to see that also we are there supporting the industry and growing, and, and that's that's such an important market. Then. Linked to your questions, if we think about you know how we are positioned, uh, Europe it's uh, yeah, of course you know our main markets. It's uh, actually if we think about this third part. The share is even bigger, of course, in Europe. While still we around, if we think about how much we represent for the US, still there's a lot of opportunities for us at Booking.com. Although we also see nice traction, especially since last year. Uh, we estimate it goes to around 25% gold versus previous years in the US market. So that's uh, again promising for, for us. 25% for Europe, US. Yeah, quarter versus quarter. So acceleration in uh, US, okay. but also share is still much more relevant in, in Europe. In your inventory, you have hotels and pretty much uh, different options for accumulation. Uh, you've been talking about uh, the challenges of the connected trip for short-term rentals. Um, that is actually a bit more challenging. Uh, why is that? What's your plans? What are you doing about it? Yeah. I, instead of um, yeah, mentioning challenge, I always prefer to uh, say opportunities, right? Because That's in it, as you know, Carlo, our mission for Booking.com is really to make it easier for everyone to discover the book. And if we think about this mission, the connected trip, it's really the basics to really make it possible. And we are in a much better stage now. We're also trying to connect and have a seamless experience throughout uh, the preparation, this day, and also the post uh, stay. Because we also believe, and I think this is something for absolutely everyone, frictions with traveling, it's in the fact. And we believe that our technology and our, our way of doing it, business should help to reduce this friction and to help everyone to really make yeah better experience when they are traveling. Uh, but of course, you know this is not only about uh, making it easy for demand and really trying to also uh, have a better experience for our guests. There's a huge focus at Booking to also ensure that we understand what our partners, what our suppliers needs, and some of the things that we have identified is that it's super important for our SDR segments protection, because it's a very specific need that the travel in this segment is telling us. So for instance, we are really now uh, trying to focus all our uh, efforts and pilots into three elements, which is the tax profit that uh, the industry has been telling us for many years, the liability insurance, and everything to do with payments. So that's something, uh, you know, that for us is, is new, we've been, as I said, uh, testing in many countries uh, through the globe, uh, but we could see this a significant uh, uh, change for us. For instance, the tax deposit we will be able to capture and to collect uh, the, the, the deposit from uh, on behalf of our uh, uh, partners uh, with the liability uh, insurance. We will be able to insure also up to one million euros, for instance, in Europe. Uh, if there's something uh, that happening to uh, the property. And this is for zero cost. And also in terms of payment, there's huge opportunities for us. Uh, we also think that, again, the payment piece is super sophisticated. We want to facilitate guests to be able to make their transaction in a safer way, in a much more uh, soft experience. But also we want to ensure that also partners feel comfortable and have zero risk in terms of how to collect uh, the revenue. So that's, I think, super promising. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's also where we really are expecting to keep uh, uh, extending this pilot through next year. Yeah.